So a friend of mine gave me a set of this, their roll of this monkey tape, so we're gonna give this a try today. And I figured I'd show you guys some ways that you can tape your fingers. So this is a basic way you can tape around the knuckle, um, but most often, like if you maybe jack up this middle knuckle here, or one of these, I like to put an X in the back of it. So for instance, we'll say that uh, most of my knuckles are all jacked up. Anyway, we'll, we'll say this middle one here is a problem. I'll start by going around the finger here and then after I've closed up that piece of tape, I'm gonna go around the back of the finger. And then once I'm there, I'll go around the top, all the way around once. So right now you got that, and then I will come around and then make a full X, and then close it up. Stuff tears pretty easy. And then, so what that'll do is that'll keep the finger, keep that knuckle, that joint, you know, secure, but at the same time I can still squeeze. And I'll, sometimes it'll be kind of tight at first, but as you sort of sweat and sort of get warmed up, the tape loosens up. I'll go ahead and tape these up and we'll see how the, this tape works out during training today. And to be honest, I don't tape my fingers that much anymore. Just because when I'm rolling, if for some reason I feel like someone's about to rip a grip off, I just let go instead of trying to fight it because when you fight those grips, especially when someone's about to rip the, the sleeve or a lapel out, if you try to fight that, you end up just getting your fingers jacked up. So most of the time I let go of it. Because back in the day when I was younger, I would try to hold every grip that I could with like a death grip and try to hang on to it for as long as I could. And in turn, when I did that, I ended up messing up my fingers. But I've still got these little brain-like little knuckles here. All right, so I've got five pieces of tape with the monkey tape. Now I'm just gonna do some regular old ace Athletic tape, obviously a little bit easier um, as far as getting the little strips and we'll tape it on and what we'll do is at the end of class, we'll see which ones stayed on longer. So I'll get my little pinky going. Again, making the X here and here. Hello, his name is Jeffrey. Hey Jeffrey, relax. It's all right, sir. Don't be so angry. The worst. The what? Worst. What's the worst? I didn't say it's not the worst, it's but it's like bad. you're the worst. <laughs> you're not not even the worst accent. You're just the worst. Just in general. Just in general. As a human being, as a human being you're the worst. I mean, you know where you find a better one? YouTube. Nowhere. You can. Better you can what? Anything on YouTube. Yeah, like a better jiu-jitsu instruction. <laughs> Why the hell are you here? <laughs> well. My battery ran low. <laughs> my, my, my iPhone died. I yeah. guess I would come in for training. I had to come to real class. I had to actually come to real class. I could have been learning the secrets of the internet. But I was learning so much cool shit that you've never even heard of. I know. It's amazing. <laughs> so, I've got these pieces of tape. I've got one, two, three, four, five of the monkey tape. And I've got just some regular ace bandage tape. And we'll see which ones hold up through training today. Pinch. Little like back towards you. Boom. Close the position, back up, and we'll go back and forth more time. Kick him, pull him down, keep him forward, and then from here, grab the, uh, the bottom of the pant leg, let your hips rock, boom, and pull up. So, if you go on the inside of a sleeve or a pant grip, this is illegal. Also, it's really bad for your uh, fingers because it might get jacked up. So, we can always go here, okay? So, you can always go thumb in, four fingers. Just the same way you would go on the sleeve, you just you can grab this way, you can grab here, you just can't go on the inside here. Cool? Make sense?
right guys, so after a moderate training session today, um, nothing too crazy, did you know, some drilling, some rolling, all that kind of stuff. Monkey tape held out pretty well. You know, it's a little bit easier to tape than regular tape. Um, but in this case, you know, the regular tape held out just about as well. You know, you still have some of the fraying on the tape and stuff like that. Um, I guess probably the be biggest benefit of the monkey tape is that, you know, it's shorter so you don't have to constantly, you know, tear off little pieces so that's a little bit easier. If you ever get really crappy athletic tape, sometimes it can be really difficult to uh, tear. The monkey tape isn't. But again, when you compare it to say like an Ace athletic tape, it seems to be right on par with it. So um, I guess that's my review of the monkey tape.